Well, you guys, what do we have here? Another damage job. Mm. Sure you guys can see this? Huge dam right here. The lodge right there. Literally last year, I trapped those beaver out of that lodge. It was two two-year-olds, and I'm guessing that's what it again it was again this year. I actually did a catch and cook about this time of year on that beaver lodge. Took both the beaver out, um, ripped a big chunk of the dam out, everything washed out, beaver were gone. Problem is, this is such a good spot for beaver. You know, every single year they just you know they just come back. I wonder how thick the ice is on this thing. I'm. I don't know if, what I'm going to do here. I think I'm going to I'm going to try to set those runs on the lodge again. I'm sure there's two of them there again, and then maybe I'll rip out a chunk of the dam here. And what I like to do all often was where the ice is there, I'll place a 330 just under the ice and block it off. And when the beavers swim to pop their head up to rip a hole or to fix that dam, they'll get caught right in the 330. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, you can see the farmer, I mean, the, the poor farmer, he's been back here with his tractor, ripping it out, ripping it out. And he is an older gentleman. He just, he can't keep up with it. And um, they've been back here numerous times over the years. So, yeah, we're going to take care of this right now. Ooh. I'm not sure how this ice is. I doubt it's walkable. It might be when I get closer to the lodge, I don't know. Maybe not. It actually, well, if I get out of this grass, I think it's, it might be walkable actually. Huh, look at that. This is walkable right here. It's not gonna be in a, in a day or two. Oh, I'm gonna go down here, you guys. Well, you guys, I'm going to chop some holes here. Find these runs quick, okay? You guys don't need to see me falling in. All right, you guys. It's a run here and a run here, just like last year. I'm going to set this one up. This one's really deep. Believe it or not, I chopped this hole out. My blocking off sticks are still right in this run. Both sides where they were last year. Put my feet in there. They're blocking the run up perfectly still. The beaver did not chew them off, which is kind of crazy. Um, let me see here, what do I got? Oh, you know, gotta, gotta have a good swivel stick here. It's gonna be a deep set. That's the only thing I don't like. I don't like, it's just not fun doing these deep sets like this. That's where, you know, an H stand would come in more handy. But once again, you know, with an H stand, this is a hard sand bottom run. I don't like how they keep them off the bottom just a little too much. No, don't feel good about it, you guys. Sorry. For the H stand users out there, are they faster? Yeah. Do I like them? Nope. Not so much. Get these triggered together a little bit more here. Here we go. All right. Take my bottom safety off and my top safety off. The ice is actually relatively thick out here by the lodge. Um, I'm walking around it, obviously. I'm going to put that right there. See that? This here, and then this is going right down to the bottom. Right, yeah, that's right about there. Right, yep, right about there, boys. Shove this in the bottom. Okay, I got a metal post here that drove in the bottom. I don't know, who knows how many years ago. There's another one actually over there. push on this trap, there's 
to make sure it's on the bottom. Push the springs down. Normally I have an axe to do, or I mean a chisel to do that, but I left it at home. Trap is way back here. I want to swing this trap around with my swivel stick. There we go. There's the other blocking off stick. See that? I can feel it. You can't hear it, but it's going tap, tap, tap. Come back. Trap is right between the, the sticks. Get that swivel stick in there. Push it into the bottom like so. <clears throat> That's it, you guys. Now that trap is set. I'm going to set two more like that. One on the back side. There's never been a run there before, but there's something coming out there. I don't want to risk these beep room getting around it. Um, there's a big hole that's been ripped in the dam right there to get these beaver moving. Um, this guy's drain field now and everything will start receding and you won't have, you know, I don't know how much is it to replace or fix a drain field, 10 grand, 20 grand. Got to keep those costs down for a guy like this. Anyway, we'll be back in the morning to check these three sets, okay? All right, you guys. As you know, we set some traps here yesterday. Ripped a big hole in the dam there so the water can recede from this guy's property. Showed back up today, that hole's not patched whatsoever. So I'm kind of hoping that means we might have something in one of these traps. <clears throat> water has dent went down here quite a bit. This went down here quite a bit. Um, huh. <laughs> now it's like a skating rink. The ice is actually tapering away from the beaver lodge here. Definitely a beaver in that trap, I would say. Let's just take a look, see back here at this one, see if anything's messed up. I don't see anything crazy going on back here. Oh, okay, so this trap here is still set for sure, okay. Um, <clears throat> I don't think. There is a, there's, there's a beaver, or well, something in that trap anyway, for sure. This trap here, it doesn't look like anything's been moved on it. So I am not, no, this one's still set, so nothing in that trap. Well, that's a good sign. Okay, so one trap fired, okay, and uh, one critter, beaver, I'm just going to assume. my swivel stick I, I believe yeah this is my swivel stick right here <clears throat> you know right here I'm pulling on this a little bit there's some stake is right there this is kind of twisted up in the bottom of the hole here there's a beaver right by the head beaver right by the head oh we go coming out of this lodge too that's a big actually a pretty good size beaver you guys there we go oh, there we go all right oh, well as you guys can see this is the one trap that i actually put on video me setting and you can see that that is a perfect head catch on this beaver. Um, today is actually the actual opener of trapping season, just so you guys know here in where I'm located at in Minnesota. Um, 
<clears throat> yeah, today's October 31st. So a, a guy can go and trap beaver anywhere they want to now. This is just an ADC job. So anyway, there it is. That's that's gonna be close. That might be a that might make blanket. I'm not sure. I don't. I think they kind of did did away with the size charts this year too, because you got the blanket and different size, you know, whatever. Blah blah blah. Blanket super blanket. I don't I don't think they do that anymore this year on the size charts for the wild fur places. I don't believe. Anyway, there we go. Results number one. Um, there's one beaver left in here. I'll reset this trap and hopefully we'll have that guy tomorrow. All right, you guys, I'm back to check this thing again. I don't know. <laughs> the water's so far down right now. talking to the old farm that owns this yesterday and he came out and he dug that hole deeper in the dam and it's down probably a solid I don't know 16 inches I'd say about 16 inches but there's no sign of another beaver you guys I mean this looks like a two beaver lodge right what's going on I don't get it honestly I don't I mean No activity at all. The beavers have not tried to plug up the hole. And there is no more activity here at all. It doesn't look like it anyway. Nope, nothing there. there strange usually you get another sprung trap or something on that order um, yeah of course this trap is still set it appears yep huh well, you guys, I'm going to leave these 330s. I'm not going to check them tomorrow, but I'll check them Wednesday morning. I'm going to pull them because, I don't know, the farmer told me that his grandson was out here shooting at the beavers, and... He very well could have got one. His grandson isn't very old. And I can't, I don't know what he's out there shooting at him with, but he could have got the other one. Definitely could have. All right, well, we'll be back. Well, you guys, we're back at this beaver lodge here. And it doesn't look like the beavers have even tried to plug this up I don't think nope that thing's just been wide open and flowing I'm gonna go down I'm gonna go over there and grab those traps we'll see if there's anything in them I was walking through water before right here it's all dry now That, huh, honestly, that first trap might look questionable. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. Um, I might have to go grab my... Oh, wait, 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 what do we got here? Uh-oh, something's... Something's, something's going on here. This trap is 
goofy, you guys. Uh-oh. No way, baby. There he is. There was a second beaver in here, you guys. There was a second beaver here, you guys. Look at that. There he is. Oh my gosh, what are the chances? Ha ha. Got it. Right there he is. It's not a not a giant one. By any means. Gosh, that's Huh. That's a small one, you guys. Really small. Well, that is weird. Huh. Well, there's... I don't know. Huh. That's not... I don't think that's big enough to be... That's not big enough to be an adult. Um... This trap... Actually, this trap right here might be sprung. This trap here might be sprung as well, you guys. Uh oh, this one's sprung too. Ugh. And there's a beaver in it. You guys, you guys don't know this, but I went, like, this is the third day, okay? I caught a big beaver that first day. This is the third day, now, or third time now. I, I, just so you guys know, I haven't checked these traps in two days, okay? I haven't checked these traps in two days. Why is it that there's beaver in these traps now? That's what I want to know. That's a beaver right by the head. Is that a, another little one? Or is that a big one? Oh. Another little one. No, that's a big one. No, that's a, I don't know what the heck. Let's see here. It's kind of disturbing, you guys. There we go. That's definitely bigger than that one. Huh. Well, should we, I mean, I might as well chop this other trap out, right? What are the chances there may be something in there, too? I don't know. I would say that there's nothing in this trap, I think. I don't think you guys. Uh. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting, you guys. Well, as you can see, as you've seen on the first check, I caught a big beaver in this trap here. Second trap, second, I think second and third, and the fourth check, maybe I didn't get nothing, no activity, no nothing in any of these traps. And now this last check, I pick up two beaver. That one, I don't know if it's big enough to be an adult, you guys. I have caught them that size in a lodge before, but I don't know about that one. Huh. And they haven't tried to do nothing with that dam. Interesting. Well, but like I said, the grandkid said he popped it a few, so maybe he took some out. I don't know if that's an adult or not. Hmm. Let's take a final look at him. All right. So it's going to be the conclusion of this video here, quick. Here's my. Here's the two beaver. I. I uh, well, this one here. And this one here, the one with the collar. This one's a small one. This one's not an adult. Upon further inspection of this guy right here, that is an adult. A two-year-old tail isn't as big, but it's got the same size body as these other two-year-olds I got here. 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Might be a, I'm thinking it's just a, a male. You know, the males don't get very big. The females get really big. The males don't get that big. But anyway, three beaver out of this pond. Farmer's going to be super happy. The beaver are flooding his drain field. Um, water's been down. They haven't, like I said, I pulled that dam out a week ago or so. Um, that little hole. And then the, then the farmer made it even deeper. And they have not made any attempt to plug it up whatsoever. Yeah. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. Please like, share, make sure and subscribe. Share this video. I want to hit 40K subscribers soon. Maybe we could blow this thing up 50K. 100, 100K. That'd be tight. All right, boys. Peace out. I was